Today I was uh, privileged to be able to present the data from the Canadian Clinical Trials Group Investigational New Drug Committee trial IND226. This is a bigger trial in all solid tumors and this was focusing on the lung cancer data, looking at quadruple therapy, so chemotherapy plus two different forms of immunotherapy, a CTLA-4 inhibitor as well as a PD-L1 inhibitor, working on both the priming and the effector phase of the immune system. So the question is, is this something that can be done safely and is this something that would be tolerable for patients? So this was a phase one dose escalation study, really looking at safety and tolerability. We know that the combination of immuno-oncology drugs have been a challenge in the past, and before we would move forward with quadruple therapy, we wanted to see if patients could actually uh, sustain the treatment and we found that they can. Um, there has been some incremental increase in the side effects to patients, but really nothing that wasn't uh, manageable. We had an increase in fatigue, a slight increase in diarrhea, and then some immuno-oncology specific side effects such as pneumonitis uh, in two patients, as well as thyroid uh, dysfunction with both hyper and hypothyroidism. But by and large, patients tolerated the treatment well. We also, in preliminary fashion, saw quite increased efficacy. So our response rate in the first 26 patients is over 60%. So that's double what we would expect with just chemotherapy alone. It is slightly higher than what we've seen with chemotherapy plus a PD-1 or PD-L1 inhibitor, although these are very small numbers, so you really can't uh, compare. But we're quite pleased uh, with the response rate that we've seen so far. It's still early. We're waiting uh, for follow-up. And what we're really hoping for is increased durability.